Welcome everyone. My name's Joelle and this is a short taste of yin yoga practice. Perfect for doing first thing in the morning. No equipment necessary for today and we'll begin in deer pose. By first bringing the soles of the feet together and the knees out wide. And then gently assisting our left foot back towards the left hip any amount here keeping both sets of fingertips to the mat and straightening the spine up tall. You're welcome to close the eyes here and begin tuning into your breath. And since oftentimes we don't have a lot of time in the morning, we'll just take a few poses together in this short practice. Holding them for about two minutes each, still plenty of time to reap the benefits of our yin yoga practice. And for a final minute here, you're welcome to stay exactly as you are. You might like to Lean the upper body over towards the right, maybe resting down on that forearm. And maybe resting the left hand behind the head for a little bit of opening into the side body as well. I absolutely love practicing yin yoga in the morning. It's wonderful to open up the body, help with flexibility because the muscles aren't warm yet which really allows us to get into the connective tissues. So I hope that you will find the same benefits as I do. And let's release that. Helping that left foot back into butterfly pose, fluttering the knees up and down just a few times before shifting into that deer pose on the right. Right foot comes back any amount, straightening that spine, noticing any differences between the first and second side. And I also love to start my day out with an affirmation when I practice yin. My affirmation for today is, today will be a good day. So you're welcome to use that affirmation as well or to find your own. And again, with about a minute left in this deer pose, if you'd like, you're welcome to Rest the left palm or forearm down beside you. Maybe reaching that right arm up and over, resting the hand behind the head. And again, just observing any changes in sensation that that might create. And if you were leaning over, gently pressing into that left palm to lift back up. Soles of the feet back to butterfly. Waving those knees up and down a few times. And then releasing that, we'll come into Sphinx Pose next. So coming down onto the forearms. And keeping the legs apart, maybe a little bit wider apart than you might normally in a Sphinx Pose. And I like to bring the palms of the hands together here. You're welcome to look straight ahead or bring the chin down towards the chest. 
And if this is a little too intense, you can always shift those forearms forwards an inch or two, finding the posture that works for you, finding your edge, about two thirds of your maximum stretch here. And once you've found what works for you, holding the pose and coming back to those deep breaths. And if you would like a little bit of a different sensation for our remaining time in this pose, you're welcome to keep the forearms to the mat, but simply turn the palms to the sky. Still keeping the shoulders, the upper back nicely released, letting go of tension in the neck and the jaw, the face, the feet. And just remaining here for a few more moments of silence. Wonderful. Let's bring the palms back to the mat so we can gently press our way back up. Finding hands and knees, shifting the hips from side to side, just to let that go. Then we'll come to dangling pose, stepping our way up into a standing posture, keeping the knees really generously bent here at first, catching hold of opposite elbows, letting the upper body be very heavy. Maybe over time, the weight of the upper body will start to straighten the legs, or maybe not. Allowing this posture to be whatever it needs to be for you this morning. Reminding yourself, today will be a good day. And let's gently release the fingertips back to the mat, lowering ourselves down, finding a seated posture, and we'll come into a loose square pose. So with the right leg crossed in front of the left, and the feet a little bit apart here, we'll come into a gentle twist by simply resting the left hand on the right knee, not forcing, not pulling, just very slightly twisting the upper body towards the right. And of course, I would love to know in the comments if you would like more of these short taste of yin yoga practices. Even just 10 minutes can really make a difference in our bodies and minds. You can also simply let me know just by hitting the like button if that's easier for you. And let's bring ourselves back to center. Holding there for just one breath before shifting the left foot in front of the right, 
any amount into that loose square pose. And then resting the right hand to the left knee for that easy twist. And again, you might observe that this side is quite different from the first. So I do hope that there will be something that you can take away with you off the mat today. Wonderful, we'll bring our way back to center once more. Wiggling the feet into any comfortable position that is right for you. Let's inhale the hands up to the sky. And exhale them back down. Two more inhaling, lift, sweeping up. And exhale back down. Last time, inhale, grabbing the air as you go and exhaling it down to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me for this taste of yin yoga practice today. I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you again soon. And remember, today will be a good day.